Hello all you glorious people of the world, Chelsea Chi here, back with Chrono Trigger. Um, so in the last one, we found out that the food uh, resource is not good, like they don't have any food except for a seed. Um, we found out that in the year 1999, um, it seems like this Lavos came out of the earth and basically destroyed the entire world. Um, so we are currently heading towards the Protodome, which is way over to the right, to get back to our own timeline. And hopefully be able to fix out some things. It's 2300 AD. So that happened in 1999 AD. So it's been almost, it's been 300 years basically, give or take, since the world uh, went to poop <laughs> because of Lavos. Interesting. I wonder how we found out this year. But I'm glad we did. We are uh, quite far in the future. All right, are there, uh, hopefully these robots are not here. Okay. Let's ride! Can I escape you guys? I'm just... Oh? Hold it right there! Who is this? Somebody new? Who are you? Motorcycle man! Oh! Bro! Thanks for the intro, boys. Bro! You lowlifes can call me Johnny. I'm the leader of this pack. Oh man, Johnny, you look so cool. Now listen up. The ruined highway up ahead's the only road you've got. You want to reach the other side? Then you're gonna have to ride. In a race against me, that is. Oh, hex yeah! You know, I am a racing master. I love racing games. I'll let you use that jet bike, cause that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it, and don't you dare chicken out, babe. So, do you shiny axles know how to ride? I do not. Please teach me how to drive it. Alright, listen up and let Johnny tell you how it's done. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. To steer, just press up and down on the directional buttons. Tap the B button for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them. The B icons show how many you've got left. Heads up though, after you use one, you can't use another until the gauge above the icons refills. You can check your position from the finish line on the screen. Now show me what you got, babe. Uh, okay, you just say the same. What do y'all, can I talk to y'all now? Winning does that to Johnny's hair. Bro, bro, he's the man. If he can't do it, no one can. Uh. Yep, y'all just all say the same thing. Alright. So, I just need to steer up and down and press B. That's pretty easy. Oh my goodness! I love this. I think that that's how that was gonna be, to be honest. Bro, bro, he's so fast! You came in dead last! Give it up! Go home! Ha! What a joke! If that's the best you can do, you can walk your way across the ruins. Better watch out for all those monsters, though. Right again if you think you can handle it, chump. I can. You know, you cheated. Okay. Let me, let me try this again.
I need to really wait on my boost. I need to save them for the end. I didn't even need to use the last one. Suck it, Johnny! Yeah! Take that, Johnny. Yeah, look all sad. You beat me? I don't get it. Well, you can come challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Can I just talk to you? I don't really want to challenge you. It just automatically turns around. Okay. Easy way to go across. I thought I was going to have to fight a bunch of monsters. I don't mind that one bit. What's this? Derelict factory? And then we have the protodome. Well, let's go in here first. Doesn't look like we can go anywhere else in this poor, desolate world. Just randomly pressing buttons, you know? You're a red guy. Fire? Okay. Well, let's not press that then. And I, of course, can't go this way. Huh. This is just bring another monster? I guess this means I can't do anything in here yet. <laughs> Which is also what I figured out with the, the sewers. I think we're gonna be back and I'll be able to do stuff with the sewers then. Um, but of course, let me know in the comments if I could have. Probably by the time this video ends, I'm gonna be back in the present and not the future, so. Oh, there's three of you guys. I just want to see how much this does. Okay, not terrible. Whee! Oh, more of you guys. Great. Man, that did a lot of damage. Ouch! Youchie! place. Don't mind if I do. I'm probably gonna miss these a lot because they are uh, hard to see. Uh, we're still hungry though. Yeah, yeah. Still hungry. Oh. A robot guy. What's this thing? It's in bad shape. But it looks like a humanoid robot. Incredible. Are you gonna fix it up, Luca? Huh. I think I can fix it. What? Fix it? What if it attacks us like the other ones? I'll make sure it won't. Robots don't attack of their own free will, you know. 
They only do it because humans make them that way. Luca, you really feel for them, don't you? I'd better get to work. Time passing. I'm just standing here. Same position. The door won't budge. Alright, that should do it. I'm gonna give it some juice. Oh, a lot of juice. Oh, he's so cute looking. Good morning. Good, good, good. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm Marley. This is Chi. And that's Luca, the one who fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca restored my circuits. Just Luca will do. That manner of address could potentially cause offense. I am incapable of offensive speech. Well, some of us don't like it when people are so formal all the time. Isn't that right, Marley? <laughs> Understood, Luca. Alright, so what's your name? Name. Perhaps you are referring to my serial number. My serial number is R-66Y. R-66Y? Cool. Cool? What are you talking about? That won't do at all. Come on, Chi. Let's give him a better name. Or will we? Oh, I guess we will. <laughs> The other, instead of R-669, the better name that we come up with is Robo. We have a frog and we have Robo. Okay. We're sticking with Robo. That's his canonical name, so that's what we're going with. Robo. Yes, Robo. That's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? My name is... Robo! Data storage complete. Hey, Robo. There's something I was hoping you could... Meh. What happened here? This dome contained many humans and others like me. Oh dear. This is kind of hard to say, but I think something awful happened while you were out. I... I don't think anyone else is left. Mm, I see. We have such happy music talking about the death of hundreds of humans, probably. What about yourselves? We came through a gate. Uh, a, a time warp from the year 1000. We learned there was a gate here when we went to Aris Dome. And then we found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is sealed shut, so it looks like we're out of luck. Yeah, kick it down, Robo. The dome's power has been shut off completely. The factory to the north contains an emergency power generator for this dome. I can bypass security to activate it. Shall we go there? You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it is my turn to be of assistance. However, the generator will produce power for only a short time. Someone must remain here to open the door as soon as power is restored to the dome. Marley or I can stay. Who will stay behind? Um, so far I've been using Marley as my healer because that seems like that's the position that she's supposed to be. So I'm going to leave Luca behind. Right. I'll handle things here. 
Okay, so they didn't force me to change out my- I mean, they did, but I didn't have to choose, like... We got a new guy, but I'ma just stick with Marley and Luca. Um, <laughs> guess you need my genius after all, huh? No. Oh, alright. <laughs> Sorry, Luca. I just wanted to talk to you. Let me actually look at the door, because I never did. Okay. Nothing else to do. Oh, look at Robo run! Oh, that's so cute! Okay. What's your, uh, stationary pose, Robo? Let's see. Up, oh, just kind of sitting there, I guess. Cute. Okay. Anyways. It is very hot in my office where I am recording, so... I'm gonna try to go as long as I normally do. Uh, hopefully that works. There you go, Robo. Tap that stuff for me. Override security system zero zero. Punches. Beep boop. <laughs> Aura beam dual tech. Okay, so that must be his move. Um. Stamina plus two. I guess we'll stick with that, I guess. Oh, that was fast. Um, hello. Let's just go ahead and fight you guys real fast. Eep! <laughs> there you go. Oh, so he really does just punch. He doesn't have, like, a... a long-range weapon. Interesting. Left laboratory, right factory. Danger. Risk of death. Deactivation of the factory conveyor belt forbidden. Stopping the belt will activate the security system, which could result in loss of life. Um, I th think we need to go to the factory, but we're going to go to the lab first. A save spot. We're going to save in the second spot. Slime creatures. Supersonic spin dual tech. That is what I meant to look at, I guess. First, obtain this. The techs. Launch fist at enemy. A cure beam. Restore a small amount of HP. Attacks all enemies with a laser. And charge and attack an enemy. Attack all enemies with a laser. Store a small amount of HP to all allies. That's that one is actually that's really good actually. Okay. Hello. Hatch opened. 
Okay. I guess that's all I needed to do with that. Nothing? Okay. Just the alkali. I guess more stuff is just gonna be falling from the sky. Checking my health. Checking my health. Check checking my health. Checking my health. Check checking my health. Please. I'm gonna think it's kind of funny if this was the way I was supposed to go. <laughs> oh. That was a different sound. Well, that did not do as much as I thought it was gonna do to those guys. Let's try that. I just wanna see what it does. <laughs> Oh, it did not do diddly squat to them, is what it did. <laughs> Interesting. Can't go that way. Hammer arm? Seems like it's something for you. Yeah. Can I go around back? Oh, I can. Titanium vest? Also for you? I can put it on. Um, what is yours at? 52 right now? Mine's at 65. That raises me to 72. I am the main character, so you know. Lasers. Whoop. Hello. Do your stuff, Roboman. All systems down. L defense lasers deactivated. Ooh, lots of bad guys, though. There has to be some combination of tech that does damage to these guys. Instead of us all attacking the same one. His extender arm did something. Ugh. But I would just- oh, can't I auto-battle? Let's see. Oh no. That was not very good. Auto battle actually goes a lot faster too, that's funny. There we go. So 
all the lasers are deactivated, that means I could go this way if I wanted to. That takes me back up, but I could also go down here. I'm not quite sure which way I need to go. Hmm. This way goes. Oh, okay. So, since this brought me back to a save spot, I think I'm actually going to end this video off here a little bit early. Um, oh, mostly because I am like sweating a storm in my room right now. It is like crazy hot for some reason. I do not know why. Um, so, and especially because the last one ran kind of long um, with plot things. So I think this is, since it took me back to a save spot. I feel like this is a good place to stop. In the next one, we will finish exploring the laboratory and hopefully the facility side, both sides of this factory, um, to figure out the power. That's what we're doing. Diverting power from the factory to the dome. Um, <laughs> just been fighting. I've completely forgotten why we're even here. Um, but we have a new buddy and I quite enjoy Robo a lot. He's, he's very cute. As always, though, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you've not already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah.